Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Chen Yiming. I'm the medical director of Vitacare Family Clinic and founder of Fidivate.com. Welcome to our latest episode of medical education video by Vitacare Family Clinic. Today we're going to talk about dengue fever. Okay? Please click on the subscription button and the notification button if you like our videos and would love to be updated whenever we have a new video that we upload. Your subscription matters and it is what keeps us going to produce quality medical videos. So without further ado, let's go on to our video. Dengue fever is a viral infection that is transmissible from humans to humans by the Aedes aegypti mosquito. It is a disease that is predominantly found in the tropical and subtropical countries. Its incidence is increasing all the time. In fact, it's estimated by WHO that the number of dengue fever is increasing and at this point of time, about 100 to 400 million people are infected with dengue fever every year. In Singapore, being a tropical country, we have our fair share of dengue fever. In fact, the dengue fever cases are increasing all the time. Up to the June 2020, we are actually having about more than 8,000 cases of dengue fever reported in Singapore. We are heading towards one of the highest number of dengue cases per year for this decade. There are four serotypes of dengue virus. So technically, you can be infected up to four times in your life. The incubation period for dengue is about 4 to 10 days. Symptoms are fever, headache, pain behind the eye, body ache, joint pain, generalized rash, nausea, abdominal discomfort. In severe cases, when dengue hemorrhagic fever occurs, more severe symptoms may be shown. Patients can be very unwell, cold clammy skin which represents a drop in blood pressure, abdominal pain, vomiting, bleeding manifestations like nose bleed, gum bleed, internal bleeding showing up as blood in the stool, blood in the urine and bleeding under the skin. In severe cases, it may even result in death. How can you protect yourself from dengue fever? So when at home, do frequently check your house and uh, your garden for any presence of stagnant water. Change them regularly so that the mosquito will not breed in these areas. Two, some people actually install wire mesh in their windows okay, to prevent the mosquito from coming into their home. And in some cases, people opt to sleep in air-conditioned rooms at night. Outside of your home, please choose wisely where you're going. Avoid going to dengue infested areas. And if you have to go to these areas, please put on your insect repellents. Uh, and if you do know that you're going to these areas, it will be highly recommended to wear clothing with long sleeves and long pants to actually protect yourself from being bitten. There is no cure for dengue. Okay. The treatment is mainly symptomatic. Good news is most of the patients actually recover themselves without any admission into the hospital. Treatment of dengue uh, usually involves treatment of the symptoms, giving medications to reduce the fever, body ache, lethargy, and close monitoring of the patients to detect for any signs and symptoms of progression into dengue hemorrhagic fever. If the platelets levels are too low or if symptoms of dengue hemorrhagic fever occurs, we have to admit these patients in the hospital immediately for closer monitoring and more aggressive treatment. So 
So please consult your doctor if there are any signs and symptoms of dengue fever or if you have fever without any known cause or obvious symptoms. Do not ignore your symptoms. Dengue can be deadly. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you learned something from it. Um, we look forward to seeing you at the next video. Take care.